President Trump has a clear message for America's allies as he begins a whirlwind week overseas. Fox News correspondent Ray Bogan is in Washington with more. A tense day at the NATO summit, President Trump is asking other members to contribute more, putting the spotlight on Germany and Chancellor Angela Merkel. President Trump makes a big ask of America's NATO allies. He's calling for other member nations to spend 4% of their gross domestic product on defense. The current goal is for NATO states to contribute 2% by 2024. It's been going on for decades, for decades. And it's disproportionate and not fair to the taxpayers of the United States. And we're going to make it fair. Right now, the United States far surpasses the other 28 member nations, giving an estimated 3.5% of its GDP to NATO this year. Only 15 allies are expected to hit the 2% goal by the target date. Uh, we will discuss how we can make this summit a success, showing that uh, Europe and North America are standing together, and we will continue to focus on defense spending. The president also creating a stir with his remarks on Germany, accusing Berlin of being, quote, totally controlled by Russia as a result of an energy pipeline. That sentiment was not well received by German officials. Given the occasion, I want to say that I've experienced myself a part of Germany controlled by the Soviet Union, and I'm very happy today that we are united in freedom as the Federal Republic of Germany and can thus say that we can determine our own policies and make our own decisions. President Trump did meet with Angela Merkel after his remarks. Both leaders spoke about the good working relationship between their countries. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox News.